It doesn't matter what you have or are going through, no matter how bad and pathetic things may be looking for you currently. You don't have to give up or feel defeated. God is watching. He sees everything that goes on in this whole world. If he who created you in his image and likeness watches everything happening to you or with you and yet lets it continue, then he has a plan or a reason for that. Do not worry yourself. Just endure while looking and hoping completely in him to make things change for good for you. The Bible says, Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. That situation might look really bad. It pains you, and you keep wondering if that is how you'll end or, or that is how things will end for you. The Word of God is saying, Though that trouble carries, be comforted and continue holding on because good things will follow suit. Though that thing currently seems to have darkened the light of happiness and peace in your life, you've been going through sleepless nights. The good news for you is that God has promised to shine His light over your darkness. And when the light appears, darkness can't comprehend it. After all these sufferings and tribulations, be hopeful, because good things will follow, and you shall enjoy them at last and be glad that you endured. The Word of God said, Those that endure to the end, a crown of life shall be given to them. Now, this life is like a race. You get tired and exhausted at some points due to the things you'll go through. At times, the thing might be worse than you might even be gasping for air. Yes, that's how choking things can get at sometimes. You don't just give up a race all because you feel tired and weary. You focus on the price, and that shall be your pushing or strengthening point. The price here is the sure banker that something good will come after the suffering or tribulations. The people of Israel were in the land of Egypt for so many years. Even though they were covenant children of God, the Lord allowed them to pass through tough times and torture. They never gave up and never forgot who they were. Rather, they kept holding on to their identity and acknowledgement of who the Lord is to them, because they were sure that the Lord has promised them a land of theirs with flowing milk and honey. They kept serving and being slaves till the appointed moment of the Lord came. And after all the sufferings, they experienced freedom and had peace. Something good came their way at long last after everything. It is the same with you also. In everything you're passing through or whatever might be going on in your life, the Word of God said the plans He has for you are for good and not of evil. And His eyes are upon the face of the earth. He sees everything happening and can never abandon you to go through all that for no reason. There's something good coming your way for sure. You just have to hold on tight for a while. There is a popular saying, behind every success there is a story. That thing you're passing through might be your story. It shall lead to success. There will come a time when you shall look back and be perplexed by how far the Lord has brought you, despite all those hurdles you had to jump or pass over. He said to the people of Judea that time shall come after their captivity that people who pass by will marvel at how good the Lord has been to them. They shall see that the once desolate city will be back to life full of activities, and after some time it came to pass, and will be forever. If he could do that in the lives of the people of old, he can do even more for you because you are a covenant child. You are an adopted son or daughter. You have a direct connection with the Father himself. You are co-heirs with the Son. He can also change your story and bring good things your way after everything. I'm so sure of that because the Bible called him the God of Wonders. 
all good things come from him, and he is an embodiment of goodness. If that is so, then your trials are just for a moment, to teach you a lesson or prepare you for the greatness you're about to launch into. Joseph, after all the suffering he went through, ended up being a prime minister. If he hadn't passed through those processes of training, there is a possibility that he could have failed in his assignment. He was thrown into a well to endure hunger and know its effects. No wonder when his brothers were passing through a famine, he could understand what they were going through and forgave them. He was sold into slavery, and there he gained another knowledge that could help him in being a great leader. He also went to prison and had to suffer so much for so many years before the appointed time of God came and he was elevated. In all of these, it was never recorded that Joseph gave up on God. He never let anything jeopardize his standing God and how moral he is. In the end, God rewarded him with what he intended to give him. David was a shepherd who had gone through a lot of belittling and resentment from his brothers. He gets to spend most of his time alone in the wilderness where he tends to and looks after his father's sheep. The journey wasn't funny for him. Though being a young child, he had to undergo all of that. Yet, in all of that, he still held to the faith he got from how God delivered him in the wilderness. When the appointed time of the Lord came, he was elected out of his many brothers, who seemed more good-looking and older than him, to become king. Good followed his ordeal. You are not exceptional either. God is giving you a testimony at the end of that situation. Like Joseph, Job, David, Abraham, and so many recorded in the Bible who had gone through one situation and got rewarded with good things at long last. It is the same for you, if only you will do what they did. Trusting in the Lord throughout. Psalms 23 verse 5 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. The verse started with a confirmation to show you how, that for real, God has a business of bringing good things your way. It said all the days of your life. That is, the good won't cease, and neither are they meant to cease. It doesn't matter how things may look now. Better things will follow, and everything that has happened will be a story. This earth and all that is in it are guided by principles. If you follow a certain principle, you will have an awaited reward for that particular principle. If, however, you go contrary to the principle, you will face the repercussions. That is why, as a child of God, as long as you are pure in heart and have good intentions towards people, as long as you do good, you will get good in return. It isn't easy to go through, but if only you will endure and hold on to God tightly throughout your trying moment, you'll testify at the end thereof of the goodness of the Lord. His words are yes and amen. He will fulfill that which he has said he would unfailingly. Study the word and get acquainted with it. Know what the Lord is saying, or had said concerning that situation or anything you might be going through. Hold him prayerfully with those words, and I assure you, you will see that good will follow that situation no matter how bad or terrible it may look currently. Don't be discouraged with whatever it is that's going on or that you're passing through. God will show up for you and change that story for good. He shall replace that garment of sadness and sorrow with that of joy and gladness. Just trust Him and surrender completely to Him, even in the face of trouble or loss. God bless you.